Hello, welcome to Giggles on the Go subscription. Today we're going to be painting a penguin. We, we are going to be doing it with acrylic on a canvas. These are the paints that we're going to be using today. Black, white, blue, light blue, and a little orange. We're going to be using the big brush and the small brush. And at the end, we're going to do something so cute and adding a little glitter. Who doesn't like glitter? glitter. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to do the outline for our penguin. It's going to be so cute. You're going to love it. So here, you grab your light blue with your small brush and you're going to do a little bit of a rainbow shape. Like ending it with a little oval at the end on top. That's our outline. Then we're gonna clean our brush. You don't need to dip it so much in the water, just a little bit, wipe it. And we're gonna grab our black. We're gonna do the outline now of our penguin with black now. Right here, we're gonna do the face. A little bit of like, almost like a heart, the top of a heart, and then we're gonna come down and do like a rectangle end. We're gonna do the belly part. We could do it round or we could do it square. It's up to you. I am going to do it rectangle actually. So right here, and we're gonna add the arms. Power to penguin. And we're gonna clean our brush. We're gonna use the background, light blue, and we're gonna use, I like to use my big brush. Make sure you clean it very well because if you get it with the light blue, it won't come, it will be darker than what you want it. So, I like you could do a different texture on your background to imitate the sky, or you can do it up and down or you can do it left to right. It's just up to you. Art is just an expression of yourself. So just have fun with it. I like to do little crisscrosses. I just think this looks so cute. Actually, it mimics like the wind in the background of the winter. I like that feel. Just have fun, enjoy it, relax. Just love what you're doing. Make sure you go over your whole canvas. And when you go around the penguin, do the lines, make sure. It's okay if you go a little bit over the black because that will be our last step. So you can always cover if you went over a little bit and clean it up. But you don't have to, Every, everybody's different. That's just everything that I'm giving you today are options for you to do in your penguin. Have fun, enjoy it, put a little music if you want and just paint away. We're almost ready to do our penguin. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to see it all done. And once we're all done, I would like to see your finished painting. Okay. So again, have fun, enjoy it. We are done with our big brush. And we're gonna be using the black now. The same brush that we were using for the outline, we're gonna be using right now. So again, I just had it in my water. I'm just gonna clean it so I don't have extra paint. And we're gonna do the inside of our penguin. So again, we can start with the outline that we were doing before and fill it in. Fill the whole penguin with the black. I 
like for this particular part, I like to go up and down. That's just my preference. You could do whatever you want. Just make sure to feel the sides and the inside. No, this is going to take white, so don't touch that yet. It's gonna be almost at the end. And then we're gonna add some nice accents. So our penguin is gonna have eyes, of course, and nose, so that will come at the end. imagine what kind of um, personality they have whether if they how they're feeling and you can add that to your painting whether they are happy or if they are um, nervous or if they are giggling so there's so many ways that you can add to your painting and actually adding a personality is one of them I like to think So over here, I'm just gonna add a little more, just to clean this line, and that's for the black. Now we're gonna use white for the inside, for our eyes part and the belly. Clean again your brush very well. I'm gonna be using another brush so I can show you faster. So our white, we're gonna be doing the inside of the belly make sure do the middle first because we just did the outline so we might get black so we don't want we could it's okay to get black but let's try to keep it as white as possible so i'm doing it you see i got a little gray here but it's okay just have fun enjoy the time and paint away now we're gonna do the top part and right here take your time don't rush through this part because it took us a little while to shape that and we don't want to lose this shape once we have all of that we're gonna add detail for the eyes for the nose and the belly in the belly you can add anything you want hearts Kisses, hugs, triangles, circles, squares, actually even your name, initials, anything you want. You can put actually love, anything you want. So again, actually I'm going to be using the small one just for the detailing. I want small eyes. So with the black, just a little circle right there and another one right here. Those are the eyes, and on the belly, I am going to do a heart. I'm gonna do kisses and hugs, and another heart over here. You can fill it in, or you can just leave it like that. Now, the last part for our little penguin, I'm gonna add a nose. We're gonna use orange. For the nose and the nose is gonna be so so simple just a little triangle right there we could add snowflakes to our painting and we can use let me show you like snow is falling so we could do it with the back of our brush right here i like to dip brush the back of the brush and just do little snowflakes falling down in our blue sky you could do bigger ones you could do small you could do them closer together it's just up to you now what I love to do and I know you will too is to add glitter just susses everything up. 
So just the sprinkle glitter all in the background. The one I'm using today is white glitter, like snow, and it has a few colors in it. I like that. It just adds a little more character to our cute penguin. I just love it. So right here. Once you are all done sprinkling your glitter, just make sure you shake it up and your painting is all done. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.